Yo, how's it going? Lorenzo, how's it going? First time here on my Twitch account. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. I appreciate it. Jay, how's it going? Gonna do some tournament battle action here. CPU versus CPU on the hardest difficulty. Chill strain, but chill with you guys. Want to watch some awesome matches? All right, let's go. Super Street Fighter for SNES. Hey Zaire, how's it going? Classic hit in the, uh, the 90s, definitely. I love Street Fighter, I grew up on it. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. You are follow number 200. Dang, Kim looked him real quick. I think Ryu is my favorite overall Street Fighter character. Um, yeah, I'm not to say so. He's one of my mains. The OG of Street Fighter, the original champion. A close fight between Ryu and himself. I love doing the tournament battle mode. When I was a kid, like I am right now, watching the CPU go at it on the hardest difficulty just to see who will win. And yeah, I do like love to play this game as well, but when I do chill streams, this is one of the games that will I let the CPU go at it and chill and talk with the audience. Yeah, it's fun to watch these matches like games like this, Ultra Street Fighter 4, CBS 2, which is my favorite fighting game of all time. It's fun to watch those streams. Uh, and if I don't feel like playing the game just to chill, talk to you guys and watch the fights go on especially and also with the wrestling games too 
Naughty Nicks back in the 2000s. I don't think I have one of those in my area. I had an arcade called Tilt in my area. And I never got to play Street Fighter as often as I wanted to in the arcades, though. I never got to go to the arcades that much, so I mainly play Street Fighter at home. <clears throat> I did play a little bit of Super Street Fighter in the arcades. That was fun. And I was so happy when this port, the SDS port came out in the summer. I think it was the summer of 94. It was the summer of 94. At the time, I could only rent it. I could not buy it yet. Well, I, was, I was a kid. Didn't have money. My parents or grandparents, whoever took care of me, just, they didn't always want to front the money for a video game. So I was fortunate enough, though, to rent this game a lot. I think I waited at a video game rental store one day uh, to rent it because it was supposed to be returned that day. And they said, if they choose to return it today, which they should, it'll come in around 5 p.m. So I was, I was they stood in that store and waited like an hour for them to return it so I can rent it. They never did. They kept it and got the late charges. That made me so mad. I was like, man, y'all need to return it on time so I can play this game. It's one of those games you already had to catch while you could in the rental store. You have Street Fighter, the movie, December 94. The greatest bad movie ever made. I liked it for what it was. I liked it. I, I loved <laughs> the Street Fighter movie. Quick, change the channel. I never played Street Fighter the movie they game though. Never played that one. I've seen it, but I never played it. Yep, Guile. Van Damme, that's Guile, yeah. I love Van Damme and Bloodsport and Kickboxer and Hard Target. My friend Swindoll was a huge fan of him. Oh! My friend Swindoll was a huge fan of Van Damme and Street Fighter, so that was like a marriage made in heaven right there with having Van Damme as Guile. Granted, Guile's an all-American. He doesn't have a Belgium accent, but who really cares? It was being played by Van Damme. There was a rumor, I think it was a rumor that Van Damme was supposed to play as Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat movie, the first Mortal Kombat movie, but that didn't happen for some reason. Oh, man. Dang, Ken is not playing in this tournament. I saw a picture of Ben Stiller and Oren Wilson from the movie Zoolander. They were dressed as Ryu and Ken, and it said a sneak peek of the new Street Fighter movie in the studios, and it showed those two. That was funny. Ben Stiller was Ryu, Owen Wilson as Ken. That would be that, that would make sense, actually, because you know, like, Owen Wilson can c come off as looking like Ken. And Ben Stiller as Ryu. Not, I mean, you know, he doesn't look Japanese right here, so yeah, he could definitely pass for maybe Ryu if they uh, dress him right or have him look the part. Ronald Julia, God bless his soul, did a great job as Bison. He he did that movie too while he had cancer, so it was hard for him, but he did it for his kids. His kids wanted to see him play as Bison. Would be would have been great that Mike Tyson as Bison, but I guess that just was not going to happen. I mean, uh, excuse me, Mike Tyson as a Balrog. I'm thinking the Japanese version. Me and my friends would have tournaments in this, in this game, casual tournaments at home. I mean, one night I got second place. I lost to my friend Venom 22. Got whooped pretty quick, but at least I made it. At least I came in second. Were you in the loser's bracket or he lost to himself? Oh, now they're in T-Hawk's home stage. Federal District of BCW. That poster Street Fighter ad on the top left of my screen here. I remember that in magazines. That was, that was awesome. I was like, man, I cannot wait for the summer of 94. And it was a great summer, one of the main reasons because this game. Oh man, look, that was a close fight, look at that. Are 
you again. Ken is going to probably win this one. He wins a lot of tournaments in this tournament battle mode. When I streamed Street Fighter 2 Turbo a few days ago, I actually beat the game with dousing, which is kind of rare because I'm not good with dousing. I was switching them up to the next person. Who's, all right, who's next in line? Okay. I lost. All right, who's next in line? Okay. And th that time, dousing was next in line on the screen, on the character select screen. I picked him and I somehow beat Bison with Dalsim. I, I was never good at Dalsim. We're using Dalsim. I was okay with Balrog. What do you think about Street Fighter 3 there? Street Fighter 3 was a good game, but I was never good at that game. I was never good at Thirst Strike. Street Fighter 3, I was never good at it, but it, it was fun. I never figured out how to use Q. I always got whooped with Q pretty quick. When I first saw the ad for this game in the arcades, I'm like, what? Super Street Fighter? And there's four new characters? Man, dude, I was like pretty much obsessed with this game. I could not wait for it to come home to the consoles because, like I said, I could not go to the arcades often. I remember a Circle K convenience store had it. And me and my dad would stop out there just for a little bit while we get some snacks before I helped him at his job. And he let me play it until I either beat it or got game over. Which I never beat it in the arcade, so I would get, end up getting a or end up losing. We couldn't stay long, like I said, because we had to eventually get to work, but he still let me play it. Then, of course, when I came home, I got to play it all the time. I never played the Genesis version when I was a kid. Dang, I was wrong. Bison barely won that one. Bison with his butt chin is the champion. How's everyone doing today? After working both jobs Friday and Saturday, I have all day off. And I gotta do it again tomorrow. But that's all right, I'm gonna enjoy this day. Maybe do a few streams. Definitely at least do this one. Last night I streamed Street Rage Remake. That's one of my go-to games to stream. do this during the stream I'm gonna go to streamlabs real quick I might slow it down just a little bit here but I don't know why I got sometimes the alerts want to work on streamlabs sometimes they don't I didn't get the follower alert earlier I, I noticed because of my studio the, the follower count went to 200 and I was like oh I got a new follower thanks for telling me streamlabs I have everything set up I don't know why you don't want to let me know things only when you feel like it. I, I think usually though, when I do a test, when I test all the alerts, then they start to work. Maybe because I didn't test them first. But they're, everything's set up. I never changed the links or anything. I don't understand Streamlabs sometimes. But anyway, Sagat versus Balrog. And 
Blanca stage. Balrog, so dumb. Just running into the tiger shots. Okay, I'm going to test the follow here. Alright, there we go. That works. I'm following myself. How lonely am I? Test donation. Yeah. I wish someone named John would donate twenty dollars to me. That'd be nice, but that's a test. Look at these new buttons right here. The, the new alerts that my friend Lay Monster did. Let me plug his his uh, stuff real quick. If you want some overlays, uh, well, a Nightbot did it, but in case you just joined, let me because they don't show the previous messages in this stream like they do on YouTube, where you first come in a stream and they show messages that were typed out. There's Lay Monster. If you want some overlays and and custom uh, alerts done and all that stuff, check out Lay Monster. Yo, British Steel, how's it going? I'm testing out my alerts here real quick. That's not the updated graphic I want to use, but it works. At least the alert works. Yeah, I, that'd be nice being rated with over a thousand, almost two thousand viewers. I entered the raffle for small streamers, but I guess I didn't make it. Uh, let's see here. Test merch. Ching ching. All right, so the alerts are working. If only they would actually work other than the test stuff. Okay. All right. Bridge Steel's a Street Fighter fan as well. Cammy stage here. It's a Mortal Kombat esque stage, and I say that because it's like you're fighting in the pit. You fall off, you die. But Street Fighter beats Mortal Kombat. Of course, stage fatality is you knock him off the, the bridge right here. The scaffold, whatever you want to call it, they're dead. Cammy loses in her own stage. How embarrassing. Cammy! The freaking announcer in this game. Listen to him. Barlog, you mean Barlog? Guile versus Barlog, China. What happened to the old announcer from Street Fighter 2 Turbo? Yo, win, perfect. Okay, he doesn't do the, but you know the voice, the actual vo the voice from Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and and I mean, where's he at? I think replaced him with whoever did the voice here doesn't sound as manly but the, as a kid I didn't really care Cammy he would not be in ECW that announcer to throw stuff at him Security have to escort him out because the audience is like, really get, get out of here with that announcer voice. Still, Bruce still I forgot who you said you main in this game. Tell me again. I don't do this every sick freaking uh whoa! Tree, how's it going, man? I, I would not have recognized you if I hadn't seen the moderation sword next to your name. It made me think. Oh, Minecraft Martin. Man, it's good to see you again, man. Good to see you again. I'm doing very good, man. I'm doing very good. There's been a lot of life updates and stuff. And man, it's going pretty good. My, Minecraft idiot. Oh, the, the drunken Minecraft guy with uh, your boss, Captain, I forgot his name, but that was funny, dude. I don't care. Do what I tell you. Dig a hole right here. I don't want to dig a hole right here. Shut up and do what I tell you. Hey, you're really drunk in those videos. I've been watching our old, listening to our old commentaries, too, on SC2K. Yeah, that'd be cool to play a game together sometime, man. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to collab. 
I've been streaming on Twitch lately, trying to grind for affiliate. I'm almost close. I st I'm still on YouTube mainly, though. Oh, yeah, I remember jokes from those. Yeah, I'm, I remember that, man. That was when, like, you first started doing that, too, and your channel was growing rapidly. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I, have a, I do have a good memory. I do remember that. That was funny. And I, I don't even care about Minecraft, either, but just... I don't know how I stumbled upon your videos. I forgot how. If someone sent it to me or what, but I still watched it and I thought it was hilarious. Did you go back and watch that after you sobered up and you were like, oh man, I don't remember saying that or just going back and watching you and, uh, uh, well, it was just you, but you were the puppet master behind that other character. That was funny. Are you still, uh, it's like 10 years ago now, but man, are you like living in Japan or still living in Japan or you can't bring yourself to watch them? There's some of my old stuff too I kind of cringe watching, but at the same time, I like to try to leave them, leave them up just to see, I guess, how far I came or just laugh at myself. Oh, you quit drinking in 2014. Okay. And you were pissed drunk in those. Yeah. Oh, living in Washington State. Okay, cool, cool. I don't, I don't do Let's Plays on SC2K anymore. I retired from that like last year because I'm more focused on streaming on my YouTube channel and now on Twitch. But the channel's still up. We might still do more interviews, podcasts, or stuff like that. And, and my friend Danny on the channel might stream every once in a while. I might even stream once in a while on that channel. But other than that, like I'm pretty much done with Let's Plays in general. I got hooked on streaming over in the past few years. Let's, I did Let's Plays for a long, long time, if you remember. I did I did Let's Plays from 2008 to like, finally stopped in uh, 20. Hey Val, how's it going? ECW Fighters indeed, yep. Kenny! Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun to do Let's Plays over the years, but I just, in 2016, 2017, I started streaming. Then by 2019, 2020, I really stopped doing Let's Plays. 2021 was the last uh, time I did an LP, actually, on SC2K. No, you solid. Oh, what a way to go out, because that's an awesome game. Ah, oh, Demon's Crest, my first impression review. Yeah, I remember that too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Demon's Crest, that was a pretty good game for what I played of it. I did a Let's Check Out, that's my first impression review series, so let's check out. Yeah, I'm enjoying my day off too. Double work, both jobs, Friday and Saturday. I'm off tonight, uh, today, and I work all day tomorrow though again, both jobs. Um, Sundays is not a day I like to stream really but I'm trying to grind for the affiliate status all I gotta do is reach the average viewers, average of three viewers and then it, it just fluctuates it fluctuates it stays at 2.7 2.8 then it goes back down 2.7 I'm like well I kind of made a commitment to gr at least grind throughout the whole month of February but I miss my YouTube audience. I miss streaming on YouTube. The games have been streaming on there. And I still got a member stream that I owe members. And I know I share, I, I export my streams onto YouTube after I stream on Twitch, but I thought I would hit affiliate by now, but man, that, that one thing you got to do, the average viewership, it's like, it can be tricky to get. You think you're gonna reach it, then you don't. It's, it's at 2.8 or 2.9 maybe, and like, oh, come on, just round up the three, come on. It's not really hard to get affiliate, but it can it can come off as hard. Partner is what's hard. Affiliate is like 50 followers, which I have 200. An average stream, an average, of, with, this is within a month, within a month, um, 200 followers, at least eight hours, seven different days, and average of three viewers in a stream. This is within a month, and it's not hard. 
Oh, Sagat beat him. What a fight that was. Sagat gets his revenge on Ryu. It's not hard to hit affiliate. As a matter of fact, it's easier to hit affiliate than it is YouTube partner. That grinding I did for six months in 2021. The within one year you gotta get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time hours. So that's harder. Uh, this is the CPU going at it here. You have a good, a good game for Sagat. Look how distinguished he looks right here. But whose side is he on? Um, yeah. Um, I don't mind the grinding so much. If I can grind on YouTube and reach that goal, I can reach affiliate on Twitch. The thing is, though, like, and I did tell people it's temporary on YouTube. I post a community update and on my social media saying, hey, this is temporary. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch a little while to get that affiliate status. I thought I'd reach it by now. I don't want to, I'm hoping I, I don't want to take the whole month because I feel like I'm, I'm abandoning my YouTube audience. Like, all right, Ronnie, come on, man. We miss your Twilight Princess streams. When are you going to start Oracle Seasons again? No one said that yet, but I'm just thinking that's probably what they're thinking. And my main audience is on YouTube. But I just wanted to, since I'm close to affiliate on Twitch, why not grind for it since it's right there? I appreciate that, Tree. Minecraft Martin. we have never heard of Minecraft Martin Val. He actually did commentary with us on SC2K back in 2012 for a little bit. He was a funny YouTuber that did Minecraft videos. It's my first time talking to him in a few years. So yeah, I just want to get back to uh, streaming on YouTube like normal. And Twitch is meant to be a once a week thing while I still do a variety of stuff on YouTube during the week. Um, but yeah, this is the last time I grind for a goal on streaming because while it's a goal of a desire to attain at the same time it kind of takes away it's still it can still be fun but it's not as fun as just streaming for fun and not not having a goal you know what i mean just stream and you know have fun and let the followers come in or whatever oh you remember minecraft martin okay Yeah, this is one of those streams where I don't want to play a game, I want to chill, so. Kind of put that in, the, I make sure to put that in the description. People come in, because most people on, on a stream play a game. When there's a game going, not CPU. But, I thought about doing this a long time. I loved doing this back in the day, but like, even when I was a kid. I didn't always want to play the game. Sometimes I wanted to see the CPU go at it just to see the outcome of matches or whatever. Yep. Go, go. Yeah, so my friend Lay Monster is encouraging me, no, go for the goal, go for the goal, man. You're almost there. I know it's, it fluctuates, but go, go for the goal. I said, all right, but if I don't reach it by March 1st, I am done. I can't stream every day like I want to. I have two jobs. And I got other stuff to do. Sunday's my off day. I don't like to stream on Sundays, but I'm doing it because I'm trying to grind. So, uh, for the goal. If I don't hit the goal by March 1st, hey, I tried. I'll still I'll still stream on Twitch. I'm going to go back to my regular schedule on YouTube because I tried. It's whatever. Oh, man. Blanca just... <laughs> oh, wow. Stomped, God. Yeah, CPU in the hardest difficulty be putting good matches, yeah. So I don't expect to make a bunch of money on Twitch, but at least the threshold is fifty dollars to cash out. Like on YouTube, it's a hundred dollars. So both platforms have their pros and cons. I think the ad revenue is better on YouTube, from what I heard. I actually, told Lay Monster, I said I think I'm gonna just stream on Twitch more full time. He goes, I wouldn't do that. You have a good audience on YouTube. You're gonna make decent revenue on there. And uh, the ad revenue is better on YouTube. However, Twitch, you can still grind for the affiliate goal, get the extra income. $50 is the threshold. But I would stick to YouTube. 
your audience, your main audience is on YouTube, which is true. And he told me, he goes, yeah, it took you only seven months from when you first got monetized to reach that threshold. And it took him a lot longer. He told me my viewership is decent. Like stick with YouTube for the most part and Twitch is, can be something on the side. Mexico? Mexico fool. Whose side is he on? Oh. Sonny Boom. Hey, and also listen to that. Sonny Boom. That's not Guile. Sonny Boom. Come on. What happened to Sonic Boom? Just, uh, even though I remember, I, I think it was A. 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 B. G. N. I think E. G. M. Magazine that kind of made fun of the voice too in Super Street Fighter. Talk about he's, it sounds like he's trying to sing for something. I don't forget how they worded it, but yeah. This announcer voice, the only thing I like about this game. Sign Ben! Rup RuPaul! RuPaul? Yeah. There it is. Ten Street Fighter 2s. Street Fighter 2, the World Warrior Turbo, Special Champion Edition for Genesis Chap Champion Edition Arcades. Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. Now that Street Fighter was it on Switch, Street Fighter 2 HD or something. And some people complain about that. Oh, that's stupid. Why did they come out with Street Fighter 3 already at the time? Why have multiple... Uh, versions of part two I can understand where they're coming from but I don't care like when I was a kid and I played World Warrior and I found out Turbo was coming out on SNES where you could play as the bosses and a little bit of faster gameplay I mean let's bring it on let's go that's awesome Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival for Game Boy Advance I haven't played that one in 20 plus years when I had an advance back then I played it oh that was a good battle, close, and the time was running out. Bison. Reminds me of that joke. What did the buffalo say to his kid when he left? Bye, son. I never played Street Fighter 1. 3 is pretty good, but it's, hard, it's harder, it's more advanced. And I sucked at it. My goodness, I got whooped in Street Fighter 3. But it's a good game. I like Blanca's color scheme right here. I looked it up and it said the peak times to stream on Twitch is between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. I guess they're right because they have six viewers right now, which I usually don't get that many. I appreciate the lurkers, people hanging out. Yeah, I, I played Street Fighter. Yeah, I played the Alpha Series 1, 2, and 3. I played Alpha 2 Gold on the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection on PS1. Now I want to get that game again. Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold was a Street Fighter Alpha 3 was awesome. Uh, could Bison win, win this tournament again? Street Fighter 3. I need to get good, kid. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I, I uh, just remember speaking of working a lot. I'll be working both jobs on Valentine's Day. Might as well because my wife's still in Mexico. sending her flowers though might as well work makes some extra money on the, that Valentine's Day money uh, where I work at and money be coming in it's a good time for you to watch you usually work after 12 but not Sundays I'm day. yeah Sundays my days off too Sundays and the weekdays it fluctuates I mean, it fluctuates what the heck it uh, changes. It uh, varies is what the word I'm looking for. It varies. Sometimes, like, next couple of weeks, past three weeks, I've been having Wednesdays off. But that's not a day to just relax and be off. I need to get stuff done. 
but Sunday is ready today. I don't want to do anything, not even stream. But it's on the on that grind. What about Tuesday? To buy Sims, just another Tuesday. DJ's your home stage. You're gonna lose in your home stage. Yes, you are. That was a good fight, though. Time was running out. He went down like a man. Uh, DJ, not today, apparently. How's it going, Jay? I, yeah, I used to work Tuesdays. Jay, I'm on the affiliate grind and the average views went down again. It's like that's that one thing that I, I remember a lot of people complain about that too. They're like, man, I had three viewers in my last stream and they said I didn't. That's bull. And I think it takes time. I'm told it takes time for the API to update and then you just gotta keep grinding and keep uh, hoping to get that three average, three uh, average viewers. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I told I told Lay Monster, I said, if I don't reach the goal by March 1st, like, I gave it a shot. That's long enough. I want to go back to streaming my regular schedule on YouTube and, and in addition to Twitch. Because, like, I thought I reached the goal already, but I didn't. So I'm like, all right, I want to give it, you know. Uh, Lay Monster said, you know, give it give it a month. I said, all right, March 1st, I'm done. I'll still stream on Twitch, but I'm not going to ground for the affiliate anymore. Because I'm like, that's... You know, and I can't stream like two hours every day because I'm, you know, I got a full-time job and a part-time job. So today's my day off, and I don't like to stream on Sundays, but I'm doing it for the grind. Playing, don't play Demon Souls later. On, oh no, a few minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, Blanca wins this tournament. I used to work with a girl named Blanca too, and not from Brazil, but from Mexico. Blanca really is a beast right here in this game. Look at his hair. How long did it take you to, for it grinded? How long did it take you? And like, I, I got all the, because my Twitch account has been around for a few years. So during the pandemic, I think I really was hitting some followers and stuff. Um, I got. I, I met all the other requirements. I got to get that average viewership, and that's that can be tricky. A few months and weeks, and here's the thing: like I'm so close to it. Like I'm at 2.7. Last night I was at 2.8. Uh, and I uh, checked this morning, and it went down 2.7. I'm like, well, all right. So everything else, so I hit. And I told my YouTube audience, I'm, I'm going to be on Twitch a lot regularly. I'll be back on YouTube doing my normal stuff soon. I didn't give my time frame. I just said, you know, it's temporary. But I told Lay Monster, March 1st, if that goal's not hit, hey, I tried. I'm going to go back to my regular schedule. Or schedule, quote unquote. I don't have to. Yeah, I, I do opt in to uh, Small Streamers Connect. But, you know, you got to. <laughs> it's the luck of the draw with that. And you got to accumulate those points and all that stuff so if I get lucky to get raided by someone else or whatever sure that'll help last week I got raided by small streamers connect while playing the Contra games and there was a glitch going on they, they, I kept on getting raided quote unquote more than one time because their, their, their stream or their system was glitching out there were no moderators to fix it 
So I don't know if anybody else is getting hosted during that time. And so I thought, oh man, well, I guess I feel bad for other people not being hosted, but this, this is still helping out my viewership. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, I hope you hit that goal, too. 1,000 followers. I'm hoping to make it Ace Gaming hits that 1,000 subscriber mark. I think he will this year. I really think so. It took me longer than that. Uh, what was it? I mean, it took me, let's see. It took me 12 years. And 2011, I lost a lot of subs because they were purging dead accounts. Which is fine, I get it. Like, you know, I'd rather have real accounts than, than subscribers or fake subscribers and, or people that don't even check out my content. But it took me 12 years. I wasn't even trying to grind the whole 12 years for a thousand subscribers. I was just like, all right, cool. You know, uh, more subscribers, let's go. And then in 2019, though, I was so close that I started grinding for it. I was at 900. I said, heck, let's just go for it. Then April 2019, I finally hit 1K. I think Omega Ace Gaming will definitely hit 1K this year. He has 830 something right now. He thinks he'll hit 900 by the end of the year. He's gonna hit 1,000, I'm pretty sure. He's a good streamer, and his sub count to view to uh, viewer count ratio is pretty good. Like, I mean, I have six, almost 1,700 subscribers, and I don't. So, I, if I'm lucky, I might pull in 10 viewers in a stream on YouTube. He has 830 something. He can pull in 20 plus. So. Um, he's definitely got the viewership. And God put some knots on Dalsing's head. Barlarg! Here we go again. Barlarg! It's Barlarg, idiot. Barlarg versus Cammy! On here, I had like maybe 40 plus because of small streamers raiding me. But other than that, like the most I would get maybe, jeez, maybe uh, eight. Not counting a raid, eight. Probably the most I got maybe on here, on YouTube. The most I got was 20. The most I ever got was 20. That was uh, my one of my anniversary streams. Yeah, I got. I can understand why they do that. It's a little bit extra money. As long as they sponsor something they they, you know, kind of believe in, at least. I, I've been getting sponsorship offers. I haven't looked into it yet though. Like Hello Fresh, a lot of people have been doing that on uh, Twitch as a sponsor. Uh, I might opt in for some of that stuff. I just want to check out the product and stuff, get to know it first, and not just be a shill just to get money. I'd like to make some sponsorship money. Sure, why not? But at the same time, I don't want to be a sellout. I don't want to sponsor something I, I hate or don't believe in. Yeah, as long as it's not mainly about the money, because it's not. I would have quit doing this a long time ago if it was all about the money, because obviously I don't make a living. Last time I got paid out on Google... AdSense, the YouTube was uh, April. He's got to reach a hundred dollars to cash out, and it's all. 
pulling almost a year since I got paid, but that's fine. I still do it because I enjoy it. PC equipment, okay, yeah. Yeah, so, do you, do you have to have an affiliate first to do that? I got emails, so I don't know if you have to have an affiliate first, but we'll see. I miss Mixer. I miss streaming on YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer. Man, that was fun to multi-stream on those three platforms before everybody messed everything up. Like Mixer, they closed Mixer down because it wasn't drawn in enough viewers, I guess. So they merged with Facebook Gaming. I'm like, nope, I'm done. I thought I think it sucks to stream on Facebook. Uh, so I just multi-stream on Twitch and YouTube for a while. Then things changed on there with the settings and stuff. It got more confusing, and I just said, nah, forget it. And uh, that's a good fight. And then I just gave up on multi-streaming. I think I heard you got to pay now to do that. I'm definitely not going to do that. Yeah, Mixer was great. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Ugh, man. I like Facebook as far as using it, but yeah, I can see why people hate it. Yeah, and you thought Microsoft, as big of a company as they are, would have a successful streaming service, but I guess not. And they, 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 they were paying these big streamers like Ninja and Shroud or whoever else. Well, <clears throat> we've seen that you cannot buy success or at least when it comes to streaming. I mean, they thought they can buy the way uh, to the top of the streaming world. Nope. Twitch still owned them. Say so one about Twitch, but man, they're the number one streaming site. Oh, finish them off with the ECW suplex. <laughs> if Sony buy Mixer. Yeah, man, I, I wish Mixer would make a comeback. I wish I could do the multi-stream thing again. Like I would, man. Like all three platforms, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. I was enjoying that. I, I gave DLive and Trouble a chance. I just did not get hooked or just the audience wasn't there at all. I just mainly wanted to dedicate myself to YouTube. But yeah, DLive and Trouble, I think I still have an account with, but I let that go. I even logged in. I, I can't remember when. I think I have a Glimish account too. Glimish was new in 2021. I gave it a chance, but before long I said nope. I was still dedicated to YouTube. I always gravitate back toward YouTube. And YouTube is mainly for videos, but you know, you, of course you can just choose a stream on there. Oh, I didn't see who else is up there. Fay Long in the final. I haven't done a video in a while. I'm gonna do one soon though. It's more of a somber one though. It's uh, I hope I do it today or tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. I don't know when. I'll do it soon. It'll be a quick video on the the passing of Arm 21, who was like my inspiration on YouTube to get started. Even though our styles are very different, he inspired me to get started, and I found out this morning Arm 21 passed away a few days ago. That that sucks. Rest in peace, Arm Maker. He's one of the funniest dudes I've ever watched on YouTube. He's the reason why I created an account so I can like, five star his videos and all that stuff, and su subscribe. Man, that was that was good times. Yeah, he, he, my friend Tibbs texted me. I said, what? How? When? He goes, last month, uh, uh, 
he's not sure how he passed away. I looked it up, and sure enough, the Armec channel announced it. I mean, the Ar the archive channel announced it. I don't know. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I, mean, I haven't watched him in years. He hasn't. I think he had a new channel or, or hadn't done as much as he used to. But back in the day, though, I you know I used to watch him, and he's my inspiration. And I hadn't really cared about him at all in the past past ten years or so. But I still hated to hear he passed away. And he, he worked for the New, uh, sort of New York Police Department on Twitter. It's on Twitter, too. They announced his passing. I'm like, no way, dude. What? He had medical complications. That's all I know. Medical complications. And uh, he was epileptic. Epileptic? I can't say that word. They might have something to do with that. I'm not sure. But it sucks. He was uh, hilarious. In 2007, I was having a tough time. He helped me escape reality by watch, binge watching his videos. Oh, yeah, definitely, Predator. Hope, hopefully, nothing happens to you, but yeah. Man, it's sad when uh, a YouTube friend or someone you're a big fan of on YouTube or content creator passes away you know you might not have known him personally but I mean I have some good YouTube friends I got Val Mexico and uh, J-Man I met in person twice this a lot of the S2K guys the low budget review guys those guys most of those guys I knew in real life so I grew up with those guys but people that I meet online that's the 2K crew green Green K4 and Bushido Blade, I've known those guys since the MSN days of 2003, so we go way back, but we never met in person. Um, yeah, and people think, oh, uh, you know, well, they don't really count as friends. Yes, it does. Just because you don't meet in person does not necessarily mean, that doesn't mean you're not friends. Now, I will say online friend, because I guess that's to clarify, well, I never, I never met him in person, but he's still a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Looking. Swindoll's a longtime friend of mine in person that I grew up with. Yeah, rest in peace, Army 21. I really stopped. I really stopped becoming. I stopped becoming a fan of his when one day he said something like, You guys need to F off. Stop asking me when we're going to bring back Army 21. Just the way he worded it at us. I was like, I had lost respect for him and just didn't care about him anymore. But every, once every blue moon, I would go back and watch his old content and kind of wonder how he's doing. And then I hate to hear that he passed away. I said, dang, that sucks, man. He was he was controversial, too. Probably not always the nicest guy, but he was a, still a real OG. Oh, one second left. She barely got him. His old videos are hilarious. 2006 to 2008. Oh, dude. Uh, Varys, very similar to and MLA Gaming. Yeah, man, I, I, this, Varys is a freaking hilarious. I would love to meet him in person, definitely. MLA Gaming as well. But Varys, like that guy, he's, I don't think he does much commentary, but like he, uh, from what I understand, I remember he did commentary with Tony one night and he was just hilarious to listen to. And he was, I mean, I love Varys. Uh, Jeff from Strictly Sega uh, America, formerly known as that, uh, here on SC2K. It, I know Val knows who Jeff is. I never met him in person, but we did business together. He, he owns his own electronic shop, and the PS2 I got here, and then the headset I used to uh, used to use, I bought from him. And he would trust me. i go, oh, man, I don't have the money until Friday, but if you send it, I, you got my word, I'll pay you on Friday. And sure enough, he sent it, and I paid him when I told him I would. I bought Capcom vs. SNK2, I think, from from his store. No, 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 I didn't. Never mind. I bought the PS2, the used PS2 I got, and the headset I used to use for commentary. And he sent me some other, 
think Metal Gear Solid I bought from him on PS1. Or he sent me that for free as a gift. Like, he sent me a few stuff. ECW for PS1, he sent that as a free gift when I would order something. Yeah, remember uh, the pool game, Minnesota Fats? That was an hilarious video on SC2K. That game, we, we were inspired by Retroprey to do commentary over that. That was a funny video, man. That game was so stupid. This The, the cutscenes, it's not the, so much the, the actual gameplay, but the, the, the movie cutscenes was hilarious. Yeah, he would play those, like, the town with no name, plumbers don't wear ties. His view, his let's play has got more views on the channel than any of, any of our other videos. Last time he had commentary with us though, was that Metal Gear Solid 2 live stream or whatever during the pandemic. And he was a bit drunk and said a few things that was really going way overboard to where I'm like, whoa, you can't be saying that stuff on stream, man. And I had to edit some of that stuff out. And I told him, I said, next time, dude, don't do commentary when you're drunk, you're, you're, you're annoying. You're annoying when you're drunk. And, uh, but yeah, like, but he was, he was fun to do a commentary with for the most part. The town with no name, the town with no game. One of the worst games, if you can call it that. I'd, I'd rather play Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. I remember talking to somebody about Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. I go, oh, it's a game, it was like point and click, where you decide what to do next, you make a choice, and they go, isn't it an RPG? I'm like, no, that is not the same thing. I don't even know, not even a fan of RPGs, but I know that's not an RPG. And Chrono Trigger is a good game, by the way, but even though I'm not a fan, this is coming from uh, someone that don't care for RPGs. Chrono Trigger is an awesome game. Are oh, you funny when you're drunk? Plumbers do wear ties, yeah. I wonder how Mexico is when he's drunk. Val, do you know? They're drinking all that cerveza and... Dulce Key, Tecate. That's racist. I'm saying that just because he's Hispanic. I assume he drinks those things because he's Mexican. I apologize. Uh, well, I can make those jokes. I can make those jokes because my wife is Mexican. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this stream has been uh, reported for uh, racism. No, I'm kidding. Oh, is this the final right here? My friend Swindog would drink Hurricanes a lot back in the day. Oh, that was a close one. He was drinking Hurricanes. He's a sad drunk. He'd be like, remember the good old days? <laughs> yeah, remember the good old days of SC2K when uh, J-Man and Ron were on there? And That's not the final. It's a semi-final. Yeah. I loved SC2K. It was a, the good old days of Wee Guy and... Yeah, I remember my friend Venom22 was telling the story of this guy they were hanging out with. He was so drunk, and they were trying to figure out what to do next. And he goes, he was trying to say, hey, let's go to Austin you know, in Texas, because they were in Waco. He goes, hey, hey, let's go to Austin. <laughs> he starts throwing up out of nowhere all over his friend's floor. He's like, oh man, hey, go to the door, go go outside, go outside. And he's trying to like go outside, but he's not turning the knob, he's just trying to pull the door open. No, turn the knob, man, turn the knob and open the door, get it. Still all over the floor. That sounded hilarious. <laughs> it was just like, yeah, let's go to Austin. <laughs> that was funny, I wish I would've seen that. His friend was pissed though, I would be too. Throwing up all over my carpet. You clean the, you're paying for the carpet cleaning bill. Hire the sunshine carpet cleaners from Southfield. You, know, you might get brainwashed. Austin message here. Yeah. Austin, let's go to Austin message. <laughs> I saw one of your old comments recently still on this on the S2K videos, Mega Man 4, I believe. Yeah, British Steel, for those that don't know in the chat, British Steel is like an OG supporter of mine on YouTube. On S2K as well. He's a big Metal Gear Solid fan.
I'm hungry though. I'm about to, uh, in less than an hour, the stream will go on for maybe 50 more minutes. I'm going to order something on DoorDash here. Oh, yeah, I go back and listen. Some of that stuff uh, I didn't like, some I did. Me and Star Soldier's arguments were very genuine. Like, he hated Mega Man 5, and I loved it. We were really argue back and forth about it. It wasn't anything like it didn't get out of hand to where we really got pissed off at each other, but it was annoying to hear him trash Mega Man 5 for the reasons he had. I'm like, yeah, but you gotta understand this. And, no, it's stupid. And he, would, he would start trolling me, though. He would like, oh, this game is better than Mega Man 5. I go, I forgot what game he mentioned, but it was terrible. I said, come on now. You know that's not true. You know Mega Man 5 isn't that bad. I can understand why he didn't like it, but we would argue about Mega Oh, nice move right there. Misfit Man. What a maneuver. Our arguments of Mega Man 5 is genuine. There was Mario... Let's play Mario 3 Part 7 Pipeland. Me and we guy kind of got into it because he was like being like, that's not a that's not a feather, it's a leaf. I go, all right, my bad, leaf, feather, whatever. It's, it's not the same thing. I go, who cares? And just we got to argue over that a little bit. That legitimately, legitimately kind of pissed me off. But I left it in there because it made for good commentary. And then Mega Man 6, we did commentary for Mega Man 6 and it has some material I wanted to use in Part 1, but he goes off on this tangent about Mega Man 5 again. Probably because I did kind of bring it up. I said, I like Mega Man 5 better, but I should have known better. Because he goes, oh, Mega Man 5 is stupid. Then here we go again. We get to a big argument. But the Let's Discuss, the video where it's called Let's, Let's Play Discuss Star Soldier's Favorite Game, which is the Let's Discuss of Mega Man 5. Uh, we kind of planned the ending there where I told him, hey, ra pretend like you rage quit. Don't really hang up the call, but pretend like you rage quit at some point. Where you go, you know what? I had enough. You guys are dumb. I'm out of here. You and we got like Mega Man 5. Screw you guys. That part was planned. But his opinions of the game and most of the arguments we had was legit. Yeah, thanks. The S2K shows were, were good. Hey, Late Monster, how's it going, man? Oh, man, you got to check out Mega Man 2 at least. Mega Man 1, well, I guess to get started in the series, Mega Man 1, you got to try it out. But Mega Man 2 was the much better game. All right, thanks, Jay. I appreciate that. Mega Man five-time WCW World Champion, right? Um, I'm gonna order some DoorDash here. I get this tournament started. Another tournament started here. My childhood crush, Chun Li, wins. Yeah, no, it's 13, 14. My goodness, had a, a big crush on her. We get Cammy. It's all about Chun Li. Chun Li, she's at the time she really got me interested in Asian women. That's what Angel said. Angel said because of Chun Li, he was interested in Asian women. Like, yeah, I started getting. His wife is a uh, Asian, I think, uh, Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken. So. But I grew up in a predominantly Hispanic community, kind of. So maybe that's why I have an Hispanic wife. Not really, but I mean, race didn't matter to me. But growing up in that environment, it kind of attracted me to Hispanic women. My dad, it's funny, my dad, when I was a kid, my dad told me, uh, Ronnie, if you ever date a Mexican woman, be careful. They got that temper. I know. He dated a Mexican woman before I was born. Watch out for those Latina women, Ronnie. They have that temper. My wife, though, doesn't really have... I'm the one that can have a temper. She's more patient than I am. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if... Uh, yeah, I'm sure Mexico has felt your wrath a few times. I mean, one year, uh, I think Mexico said, no, I can't do commentary tomorrow. It's Valentine's Day, and I belong to Valerie all day long. And so I was like, yeah, I, I, well, I don't blame any woman who would be like that. Like, no, we're not doing, you're not doing that on Valentine's Day. We're, we're going to spend the whole day together. Oh, that's a close fight.
And I saw this video where uh, this couple, the, the guy goes, let's go to Hooters. She goes, what do you mean go to Hooters? We got Hooters at home. And he said something, and she said something in Spanish. And he's like, wow, Spanish? And the comment section is saying, when they start speaking Spanish, you better watch out. <laughs> That's when they're really mad. You remember how he looked look at the women's restaurant on SmackDown? What'd you say? What you looking at? You got a diva right here. We have a diva at home. Yeah, she, I, I bet she will, yeah. My wife, though, is not that type. She's actually, like I said, uh, I, yeah, she's gotten angry. We've, we've gotten arguments before. Like, I've seen her angry, of course. You know, married couples, that happens. But she's not that type. Uh, not that say that she wouldn't fight and help me out. But she's not that type of, uh, she, she's more patient, uh, more slower to anger than I am. To where she'll try her best to avoid the fight first. Which is good. I'm glad I have someone that's easily angry all the time. Chun Lee Berry wins that one. Yeah, Val take a beer bottle and God knows what else. Mexico told me one time you beat the crap out of him. No, I'm kidding. He didn't say. I wonder if Mexico has ever lost his cool. He told me one time he got to a. I don't know if it's a physical fight, but. Got to a fight with his brother because his brother got drunk and forgot to pick him up. He had to walk home or something. Mexico was not happy. I seen Swindog get angry, man. It, Swindog can get pretty angry. Oh, nice. Boxer versus wrestler. Let's go. Oh. This is a new employee I work with. She's from Arizona. And I mentioned that because uh, Val in Mexico from Arizona. Yeah, well, I guess that's why he's Mexico. No, he's, he, he named himself that because he loved Mexico. Yeah, she's from Arizona. And uh, I should say, hey, her name's Sarah. I should say, hey, do you know of uh, Valley Fever on YouTube? <laughs> Maybe not, because you know, you don't know everybody in your own state, but that would be a funny coincidence if that's true. Yeah, where well, it's hotter than Texas, apparently. Texas is hot in the summer. It's hell. It's brutal. I'm used to it, but it's, it sucks. I've had, well, I've had some Arizona sweet tea recently, like, not for the first time, but I had to substitute it for something else, and I said, like, man, I think I like this better. <laughs> Arizona sweet tea really hitting at the right spot. I usually get red diamond sweet tea because it don't have as much sugar. And it's not as unhealthy for you and it's decent. But uh, yeah, that Arizona sweet tea is good. I think I like it better than Texas sweet tea. I hope no Texan hears that. <gasps> Blasphemy, you're not a real Texan, you traitor. No, I love Texas, but I'm just saying that sweet tea in Arizona is good. <laughs> We, we take sweet tea seriously down, down here in Texas. Down yonder. When I was in Mexico, I had to do without sweet tea because they didn't really have it down there. I mean, they do, but it's not the same at all. The sweet tea I had that my wife brewed for me that she bought at the store, it tastes like Fruit Loops. What the heck is this? But I guess it'll do. Sure, Shard is a great wrestler. She's definitely a great wrestler. Um... Is that one of the divas he liked to stare at, or, or what? I don't know who my favorite diva. I remember. I remember Melina. I liked Melina. I liked uh, uh, who else? I'm trying to think. I liked Becky Lynch. Back in the day, I loved Lita and Trish Stratus. I like the big Bertha Faye. No, I'm kidding. Uh, God rest her soul. But my favorite all time, I, she wasn't classified as a diva back then. They, they were no such thing as divas, quote unquote, at the time. But I loved Medusa, aka Alundra Blaze. Yeah, 
they make interesting comments and they go, woo. I'm glad she's successful though. I saw her at NXT and plus I'm a fan of Ric Flair. I said, I hope she, I hope she becomes successful and she did. Yeah, I liked Beth Phoenix. I didn't care for Maria. Mickey James, that storyline with Trish Stratus, wow. That was something else. That's how I can describe that, something else. Yeah, because no one's going to replace Ric Flair. You cannot live up to Ric Flair. You can't replace Flair. You cannot place Hogan. You cannot place The Rock. You, can't, you cannot place Stone Cold. You cannot replace The Undertaker. Those are my top five, in my opinion, that no one can fill their shoes. Bray Wyatt may kind of... Uh, come close maybe someday but I'm definitely not <clears throat> feel the shoes of the Undertaker yeah <clears throat> I like Bailey Bailey's a good wrestler Sasha Banks too. Oh, Tammy and Chun Li in the final. Is Chun Li gonna win again? Won't be long till Faye Long loses right here. Well, we'll see. On S and 2K, the best commentaries were with me, We Guy, and J Man. With sometimes a mixture of Star Soldier, Bear, Gentoo. Especially that Shadowgate Let's Play. That was fun. Done way back in 2011. <clears throat> Which, by the way, whenever I premiere a video on YouTube and I don't talk in the chat room, yeah, that means I'm most likely at work or doing something else but I still like to have a video premiere for you guys and read the chat later uh, recently I got a, a donation to one of my premieres and then D-Way 40 became a channel member in the uh, I forgot which one Shadowgate one I think maybe I don't remember and then uh, Nieva Santiana, I think is her name. She made a don super chat donation in one of my premieres recently. Like, look at Guile. I, I didn't notice this until someone told me this on social media a few years ago. He has no eyebrows. I never knew that until someone pointed that out. Look at this awesome overlay that I have here thanks to Lay Monster. The city of ECW. And if anybody don't know, that's the background to Mega Man 2. 8-bit stereo, yeah, I think he still does that. Here we go, final. Chun Lee versus Cammy. Make, make a cameo appearance. Okay, USA. Gal stage, of course, because this thing goes with everything. This should probably had a code where you can fight <clears throat> on the top of that fighter jet or something. That'd be pretty cool. Bonus stage. Oh, have at least have the bonus stage on top of the fighter jet. Oh, that was close. Chun Li wins again.
Gallo in dead last. Gallo dead last. Girl power, right? Shouldn't leave. Not playing around today. Yep, you women are ECW. Or the deja vu, I forgot what part. Um, we talk about, uh, deja vu was talking about this 400 pound woman in the trunk of the car. And I said, <clears throat> I said something like, BBWs are ECW. BBW, BBW. Chun Lee again, was she won a third straight time? Battle number 73, jeez. BBW actually stands for Bushido Blade Warrior. <laughs> you know, BBW equals ECW and Danny. I can play me a green, Ron. ECW, 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 EC freaking W, ECW. This DoorDash ad messes up my phone. Come on, man. Just show me my order. Jeez. I'm glad I don't DoorDash anymore. It wasn't worth it to me. Actual delivery is what I'm talking about now, not order. But, <clears throat> yeah, it did not do it for me. I got tired of the miscommunication. Uh, just BS stuff that happens with DoorDash, and it's not for me. Yeah, he loves his long streams. I don't like to really stream for more than two hours on average. Unless it would be one of those streams I did in 2021 where I'm asleep and I'm not even at the computer and the gameplay is going by itself. Just generate the watch time hours, but actually sitting there playing a game, even these chill streams, like I don't want to. Because I want to at least have some sort of interaction with people, not just let the game run and then me not talk and not even do anything. Streaming can take some mental. That's one in some ways physical energy, especially if you're on cam. That's why I'm not on cam most of the time. I don't want to be, always be animated, and I'm going to be in the background multitasking, doing stuff. And, you know, people don't care to see that, but that's why I don't use webcam that often. Yeah, Do DoorDash, like, man, oh, man, I got a lot of DoorDash stories. I mean, I remember, like, I went to this one order. I went to this one apartment, and... I couldn't get in the freaking apartment complex because there's a gated community. They did not tell me on the app, there's a gate, here's the gate code. So I'm like at the gate and I'm calling them saying, yeah, this is your dasher, I'm here with your order, but I'm at the gate, you happen to know the gate code? And this guy goes, oh, there's a gate code you have to put in? I'm thinking, you live here, you don't know the gate code? And he's trying to ask somebody. So it turns out, I think he, him and his friends and whatever, they, they didn't all live there. They had to ask the person that did live there. The person that ordered it did not live there, know the gate code. Someone that was coming in, uh, or coming in through the exit or whatever, said, hey, come in this way, sir. Like, he can tell I'm a dasher. You can come in this way. I said, okay, thank you. And I came in. Finally found the guys, and, and, and the guy said, uh, yeah, sorry about that. We don't have a car. We usually come in through the side gate. We just walk in the door. And I'm just, I'm just thinking, well, that would have helped if you would have told me that. <laughs> it's like hard to communicate with them. And one, one, one dasher. Um, gave me the wrong phone number. My dasher, the dasher, just communicated with me here, saying. Sorry for the delay, blah, blah, blah. I said, no problem. And that's the thing. Like, I'm big on communication, so I'll always make sure to communicate with my customers. If it's taking so long, I'll let them know. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, 
there's a they're real busy it's like a big delay you know communicate with them and always leave a decent tip someone stole my mom's food one time my dasher straight up stole my mom's food because she marked it on the app it said your order's been dropped off they're supposed to take a picture of the order dropped off right she didn't do that open the door my order's not there i look around to see if maybe she dropped at the wrong door by accident couldn't find it anywhere nearby I messaged her. She goes, yes, I did, sir. And I took a picture of my mom's door. I said, was this the door you dropped it off at? Apparently not. But her answer was, yes, sir. Please contact door that support. I'm like, you liar. You <laughs> stole my food. I want to report you. And I reported her. I got my credits back and ordered again. Straight up stole my food. You're supposed to take a picture of the food when you drop it off. Oh man, yeah, I bet you they're like, yeah, I like, oh, look, look at this. Oh, hey, what's your name? And trying to do whatever God knows what they want to do with you. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, and, and females, not that females are weak, they can't take care of themselves, but I mean, like, certain situations, it's good to have a male or someone else with you, especially at night. Like, I remember when people, when a dasher would deliver to me, a man would be with her. And I understood that. It was nighttime, right? They don't know me. I could be someone capable of doing something to them. They don't know me. So, yeah, it's good to have someone with you, especially at night. Yeah, I got that right. Yeah, you saw where that was going. Like, nah. -uh. Uh, I ain't like that. I don't know you guys. I'm out of here. That's what... It's another reason why I would not want to deliver alcohol. You might deliver it to someone that's just maybe already drunk. I think if they're already drunk, though, I think you're not you're not supposed to deliver it to them. You take it back or something. I think that's one of the policies. I'm not sure. And always make sure to leave a decent tip. If nothing else, at least $5. Yeah, and those no tip orders, yeah, you can tell who doesn't tip. I don't I don't deliver to them. It's not even, it's, it's not the fact they don't tip. It's because they're the most difficult people to deal with. They're miserable people, so they might be rude to you anyway. They won't give you clear instructions. And... It don't make sense. You're not making a profit. I'm not going to drive 10 miles to deliver where I'm only going to make $2.50. Like, there's something called gasoline that costs money. Plus the wear and tear in your car. It's got to be decent. Like a decent order with a decent tip for it to be worth it. If not, you decline it, someone else may pick it up. There's some dashers out there that they're shady and they're still your food. Like, if you're that hungry, I mean, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but you can't be stealing people's food. Now, come on now. This is a YouTube channel called DoorDash Santiago. And uh, he told a story where this one woman did not tip him, and he sarcastically left a message saying, your order's been dropped off. Thanks for the tip, laugh out loud. And she got mad. Who gives a about a tip? I don't care about no tip. <laughs> yeah, I never really got a big party order. I think if you ordered the DoorDash party catering bag, you would get the big orders. And I didn't like I did not like doing the double dash. It, I just really s struggle with anxiety while doing that that door dash stuff because trying to get there on time, go through traffic because people want to drive freaking slow instead of going by the actual speed limit. The double dash thing that was stressful because I mean, what if something delays you and it makes the other order even more late? 
Yeah. I got trapped in the apartment in this college dormitorium one time because you supposed to have like a scan your thumb, your thumbprint or something to get in the door. I forgot how exactly I got in. And it was like a maze. It took me forever to get out and get to my car. And if I had another order waiting for me, they would have had their order late. And, oh my goodness, man. Yeah, it was more anxiety induced. And then Chili's would not communicate with me. Chili's made me mad one day. They did not, on the app it says park, let us know where you're parked at. Type in that parking lot number and we'll bring it out to you. They never did, so I go in after waiting about five minutes or so. And they said, oh yeah, we don't bring it out to anybody anymore because we don't get tipped to do that and you have to come in and get it. I'm like, that don't, that's not what it says on the app. Like, and then Bush's Chicken, it says, wait in the parking lot, let us know you're here, call the store, we'll bring it to you. I do exactly that. I call the store, I let them know I'm outside to pick up a DoorDash order for so-and-so. And the manager goes, oh, okay, well, sir, we're open, you can come in. And I'm, I'm like, the app tells me to wait outside. These restaurants need to update their instructions. Like, we're past that pandemic COVID uh, stuff where people, where restaurants are closed and you, you only do drive through or whatever. Like, come on now. Update your system. Update your instructions to your door dashers. Yeah, the orders for college students. There was one college student, though, that I had had trouble finding her, but she still left a, a good tip, so it was all good. Chun Li in the final again. She gonna win again? Ryu and Chun-Li make a good couple. No, she does not win for a third time. Third time, third time is not a charm. Ryu wins. Yeah. yeah, that's true. She made it to the finals though again. Oh, man, wow. She's in it again. Ryu is not. Yeah, I have a lot more than that. I'm just trying to remember them. Or some I don't, I guess I want to feel like getting into. But, I mean, I didn't have horrible memories, you know. But, like, you know, nothing bad happened. But just a lot more frustrating orders. Like one person gave me the wrong phone number. I called. <clears throat> and they said, no, we didn't order a DoorDash. I got the wrong number. I eventually 
delivered their order, but they told me to call first for instructions. But I called. I can't call you if you don't give me the right phone number. There was one guy that was blazed out of his mind, gave me the wrong address. Now he was nice and still left a good tip, so it was all good. But he gave me the. He did update, update his address. He 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 was at another location. He didn't update his address in the app. And someone told me, yeah, next time don't even do that. Because if they don't give the right address, that's their fault. You are not, obli- you, you are not obligated to deliver to a different address than what's on the app. Because if something bad were to happen to you, they won't be able to find out the location or where you were at last or whatever. Because you went to an address that was not on the app. So, yeah, don't do that anymore. That's their fault. They don't update their address. Yeah, wrong phone number. Or I try to text him, hey, what's the gate code? There's another gate code incident where someone had to let me in because I tried to text him or call him, but it would give me an error message saying I can't reach him. I'm like, really? And there was a, like a no-tip order, too. Let's like, get out of here. So God destroyed her. And I made deliveries from Sonic one time to this uh, these people at this Papa John's. As soon as I give them the drinks, <clears throat> I was about to pull out of uh, uh, the parking lot and leave. He runs back out. Sir, I'm sorry about that. Um, we accidentally spilled one of our drinks. Do you think you can uh, go and get us another one? <laughs> I was like, no, nah, it'd be easier just to order. Just tell DoorDash customer support what happened because I can't do that. I have to get going. Just report to customer service. Maybe they'll give you a credit or refund or something or, or just place another order because I can't, I can't go back and get it. Jeez, people. Part of this it's phone. USSR. Oh. T 
Seahawk beat Chun Li. What happened to girl power? Come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> Gentoo would make those jokes. I guess you can make that joke because you're a woman. No, but Gentoo would do that, and, and Sarah from our, our SC2K friend, she would like, she wouldn't get mad, but she was like, oh, really, Gentoo? More kitchen jokes, huh? What was that? She thought it was funny. Yeah, Gentoo always say that. She needs to get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh man, my Twitch stream just ended because that joke. Oh no, no, I'm kidding. Terminator for uh, sexist remarks. Oh come on, your face is sexist. Chun Li again losing, man. It's kitchen time. But no. Yeah, do you spin with the Val is cooking? It's straight out the microwave. <laughs> Val Venus? Zongief wins. Oh, T Hawk, can you avenge your homeland? Let's go. With his mint clo color clothing. He's in mint condition here. Let's see. New cage match. Wait a minute. Oh, come on now. Wow, what? He told you that back then? Oh yeah, okay, that's a joke y'all had then. Okay, like, Lady Who, excuse me? Lady ECW. Um, excuse me, I'm Lady ECW.
I think when Mexico told me, uh, yeah, um, yeah, me and Val, uh, we're not together anymore. But, you know, I got a good new girlfriend now. So I said, well, I don't know her, but I don't think she's going to be as ECW as Val. All right, one more tournament, and they're going to end the stream. So last tournament coming up here. Let's go. Who will win the last tournament of the day? We'll find out on Monday Night Raw. Wait, Sunday. Anyway. Yeah, Lady Zelda is cool, though. She was cool to do a commentary with. And Mexico would always talk about, don't pull Mexico and die in this game like I did. So that would become an inside joke, and she would go, watch out, don't pull a Mexico, Ronnie. pesos on I got I actually have 700 pesos with me right now I still haven't that's for like 36 American dollars but I still uh have it haven't converted it yet uh, reunion is home stage two man destroys on gift Oh, you doubled your pesos? Nice. on the warpath her reuse like shut up bitch And I've worked all day this weekend, or Friday and Saturday, at both jobs with these new work shoes. And, you know, new shoes, they can be tough on your feet at first. And I had a big freaking blister on my, on my toes. Are oh, you about to leave? Get out of here? Oh, yeah, you're about to go to work? Okay. Thanks a lot, Val. Appreciate that. Um, have a good, uh, Oh, no way, you're off today. What am I talking about? You're off today, right? But yeah, you gotta get going. All right, I appreciate you uh, hanging out in the stream for a little while. And always good to talk with you and others that come in usually. Other people that may be lurking. I gotta do laundry. I gotta do laundry later on to do, today too, man. Uh, I hate to do it on Sundays, but that's like the only time I really have to do it. But yeah, um, have fun with your errands. Have fun doing laundry. That's a lot of fun. And yeah, uh, have a good day. God bless and take care. Yeah, oh yeah. Put your clothes in the dryer. First ever word spoken on the S2K. Don't air out your dirty laundry on stream. 
ECW. Oh, drop kick. Wait a minute. Oh, she barely got him right there. Nice. All right, take care. Have a good one. Gile. This guy's voice, man. I can't get over it. Gile. Cammy. Battle 99. It's probably actually Battle 102 or something now. You know, it goes up to 99. I got 99 battles, but a 8 1. I fell. I like Guile's uh, skin right here. The hair and the tan. E. Honda, like the most muscular fat guy I've ever seen. Oh, geez, I wonder. <laughs> Either way, Ryu's going to go to the finals again, but will he win this tournament? And this is the last tournament battle for the stream. Will he go out on top? Oh, man, they're, man, they're come, both are coming out the gate. It's not playing around. It's a win-win situation, though, for Ryu, so he's probably just having fun. Like, I don't care. I want to win anyway. <laughs> but Ryu would not want to win it like that. He want to earn his victory. What, Reprill? Re what? Ryu, Bear, Sub-Zero, Ryu. I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. Sub-Zero is cold-blooded. He's my favorite Mortal Kombat character. The original one. Yeah, I had a feeling it was a typo. I just couldn't decipher what you were saying. These two big seven-foot monsters going at it in Mother Russia. <laughs> what a finish. What a finish. Jeez. He won, though. Z Hawk loses. All right. Ryu versus Z Hawk again. And Z Hawk, I'm making reference to Zombie GLT1, who might be lurking. <clears throat> kind of, I guess he kind of looks like Zombie in a way, so we call him Z Hawk. Zombie Hawk instead of T Hawk. Uh, re make reference to Zombie GLT1 on YouTube. Uh, okay. A reptile Ryu beat Sub Zero Ryu. Because more come at one, they were just palette swap, right? But what do you mean, reptile or Ryu? Are you talking about a fan made game or a Sub Zero Ryu? I loved Reptile though, man. The Mystique when he when he first came out, the Mystique surrounding him was awesome. Yeah, but what do you mean by Reptile Ryu? And Sub Zero Ryu, is that their last name? Ryu Hayabusa. Who would win a fight between Ryu Hayabusa and Joe Musashi? With the rock bottom on him. E Honda hit rock bottom.
Ryu and Zongif. I might be wrong, but I think Zongif's gonna get whooped. He's gonna get stomped. By Ryu. Mortal Kombat 2 in the SNES, my overall favorite Mortal Kombat. I would say overall favorite fighting game, Street Fighter game is uh, this one. Or maybe Super Turbo in the collection. But like I said, I never got to play Super Turbo in the arcades. I never got to go to the arcades that often. That was a good fight. GG. GF. Good fight. Here we go. The final. The final final. Ryu versus Ongif. Uh-oh, you're making me crazy. Jeez, I remember Mike Adley said that on ECW on Sci-Fi. Kofi Kingston will come out. You're making me crazy. Zongif will not go down without a fight, though. Yep, yep, knew it. Ryu wins. Back to back, going out on top. First and third place. Alright, so that does it for this chill stream of Super Street Fighter 2 CPU versus CPU tournament battle action. Thank you guys very much for hanging out. Valerie, British Steel, whoever's been lurking, uh, Lay Monster for coming in earlier. Uh, Zaire, the, uh, I apologize, I forgot your name. Zaire, uh, what did you say his name was? Zaire Bond for the follow earlier. Thank you very much. Alright, guys, you have a good one. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care. Bye.